I'm sure that you use ChatGPT now for answering questions, creating content, and for many other tasks. But did you know that ChatGPT can help you create an app without the need for coding skills or knowledge? I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process to generate codes using ChatGPT and build your basic app in a minute. But before that, stay tuned until the end, where I'll show you how to turn it into an APK file for your Android device, so you can easily share it with friends or even publish it on the Play Store. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Policy points for more. Let's get started. First, we need an app idea or design to create our app. So if you have one, you can explain it to ChatGPT and how it should work. For this video, I'm going to create a simple to-do list app. So go to ChatGPT and enter your app idea and ask ChatGPT to give you HTML, CSS, and JavaScript codes for your app. You can see in just seconds I got the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript codes for my to-do list app. Now to check our codes are working properly, I'm going to use this free tool called CodePen. Click CodePen and click sign up for free and sign up with your Google or email email account. After you sign up, you will come to this page. In here, you can see that there are three sections to add the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript codes to create our AppEM. To enter our codes, go back to ChatGPT and first copy the HTML code by clicking copy code and paste it here. To add the CSS code, go back to ChatGPT and copy the CSS code and paste it in the CSS section. Same way, copy and paste the JavaScript code. After you enter all three codes, move this part up and you can see a preview of your app. So let's test our app. I'm creating a to-do list app. So I'm entering. Go to the gym and click add task. As you can see, our task is added and you can see the edit and the delete button. Our app is working completely fine, but we can improve more of its look, more options and different icons to make it more attractive. To do that, go back to ChatGPT and ask it to regenerate the codes with the new customizations we want. Now you can see we got new and improved chords, so copy the new HTML code and go to the code pane and replace the old HTML code with the new one. Same way, replace the all codes with the new codes in CSS and JavaScript. Now if you move up this part, you can see I have changed the background color and have more options like calendar and time. And now add button change to plus icon. Let's check our app again. As you can see, our app is working completely fine. Now we can add the app code to our computer. To save the code to the computer, we need to save it to the notepad. So open up a notepad. First copy the HTML code and paste it here. Now click save before we save. Create a folder to save your files. To save your HTML code, name it index.html. These savings methods are very important. Make sure to do the same, otherwise your app will not work. To save our CSS code, open up a new notepad. Copy and paste the code here and save it as style.css. Lastly, open up a new notepad notepad and copy and paste the JavaScript code here and save it as script.js. After you save all three codes, now we can run the app locally. To do that, go to the folder where we saved our codes and open this index file. You can see that the app is running locally in our browser. We saved our app files into the computer and the app is running fine. Now we need to upload our app online, which means we need to host our app. To do that, I'm going to use this site called tiny.host. Click the link in the description to come to this site here. First enter a name for your app. Next, we need to upload Upload our app file as a zip file. To do that, right click on the app file and select send to and click the compressed folder and your file will transform to a zip file. After that, drag and drop the zip file to the tiny host. Now click on Google and log in with your Google account. Fill these fields here and click complete. OK, our app is now online. If you click on the view site and you can see our app is live and you can share the app with your friends and everyone. OK, our app posting part is over. Now we need to convert our web app into a mobile app. Before turning the app into a mobile app, we need an icon icon for the app to create one for free. Go to canva.com. In here, click create design and click custom design. Enter 5 to 12 by 5 to 12 as dimension and click create design. First, I turn the background color as black to design easily. Next, click elements and select a shape suit for your app. I'm selecting this round shape. Change the color of the shape to a color of new light. Again, click the element and search for a graphics suit for your app. For my app, I'm going to select this list icon after you add and adjust the size of the icon. Finally, click share and click download to download your icon. We are using the Canva free plan. We can remove the background image. To remove background, we are using this free tool called Photopia. Come to Photopia and click open from the computer. Now come to the left sidebar and select the magic wand tool. Now click on the background. You can see the background is selected. Now press delete on the keyboard and the background is removed. Now click file and come to export as. Select PNG format and click save. Now the app icon is ready. And now all we have to do is convert our app to a mobile app. To do that, we are going to use this free tool called Web into App. First, we need to add our app URL here. To add our app 
link. Go to our app and copy the URL and paste it here. Next, enter a name for your app. I'm entering the to-do list as my app name and clicking next. Here we need to add an icon for our app. Click the app icon and upload your app icon made with the channel. After you upload your app icon, click make app. Now you need to register here. So enter your details and click register. After that again, click make app. Now you will come to this page here. Select your app category and add the description about your app and click OK. As you can see now our app converts into a mobile app. To download the app, click the cloud icon, then click download free and click download all the files. Now our app is successfully downloaded to our computer. Now we need to download the app to our mobile phone. To do that, we need to extract the zip file on our computer. First go to the file which we downloaded and right click on it. Then click extract and your files will be extracted here. Now open the extract folder and you can see another folder called Android. Open it and you will find this APK file here. Now you go to app APK file. Now we can go ahead and download our app to the phone. To do so we use Google Drive. Go to your browser and open Google Drive. Now drag and drop or upload your APK file to your Google Drive. Once it is uploaded, let's download and install our app onto the phone. So now in your phone, open your Google Drive. You can see our APK file. Click on it and open it. Now you can see our app is downloaded to our affordance. Next click install. After the install, click open. Now you can see our app on our phone. I know it needs more customization and improvements, but overall we created an app only using ChatGPT without writing a simple code. Let's test the app function. I'm going to enter a task and select the date and time. As you can see, our app is working completely fine. All it needs is a little bit of customization. As a non-programmer, I'm very happy with the app I built for the first time. I think you can do better than me with today's AI technology. I think anyone can build or develop apps even if you don't have coding knowledge. Try this method to create your first app and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Before you go, if you want to learn hacking, click the video on the right side and I'll see you there. Bye for now.